thousands of people gathered at anti-war rally No War and Confrontation in Berlin. The protesters gathered near the president's residence to voice their opposition to increasing troop levels in the military, boosting weapons production and exports, and the government's current policy of confrontation with Russia. The protest blamed the West, especially the US and NATO, for spreading wars worldwide and called for peaceful resolutions to conflicts and mending relations with Russia. Self-Defense Forces provided the Ukrainian army with a humanitarian corridor at the Donetsk airport for rotation and food delivery. Special Forces arrived in three Kamas trucks bearing white flags. Accompanied by OEC members, the trucks delivered food and 51 soldiers from Avdeevka to the surrounded soldiers. 48 soldiers were to be brought out of the terminal. It is useless to Washington to try to pressure Moscow on the world arena. Instead, it should take into account the other side interests. So Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov told U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry as two officials met in Rome. When discussing bilateral relations, Lavrov stressed that their development is possibly only on the basis of equally and mutual interests. While any attempts to pressure Russia have no prospect, the Russian Foreign Ministry posted in a statement on a Facebook. An armed assailant was holding an unknown number of hostages inside a Lynn Chocolate Cafe in Martin Place, Sydney, on Monday. Police said with local television showing some being forced to hold up a black Islamic flag in the window. Pictures showed a black and white flag similar to those used by Islamic State militias in Iraq and Syria. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.